This just in. The C virus is out. People are getting sick. And you know what I'm getting sick of? This huge gaming backlog. So, I don't know what else to say, guys. I mean, this is just insane how many games. This backlog just keeps getting bigger and bigger. So my number one tip for this quarantine coming up because of the coronavirus is to not go outside and just play video games. So unfortunately I do have to leave because I have a job and a family support. I have a mortgage, I have insurances, insurances, I say insurances because I have vehicles and houses, or house A's, one house, one house. But this would be the perfect time just to start working on that game, game backlog. Now there's so many games and I have so many projects and I got so much stuff to do that I should have no problem staying busy. So my number one tip for you guys is to get going on that backlog. Stay away from the sun. Stay away from the cough. Stay away from the respiratory illnesses. Now unfortunately there has been concerts and stuff that has been canceled. I'm not a huge NBA fan, but the NBA season is done, you know, is done. March Madness is not very bad anymore because it's not going to be going on. So what we're going to be doing right now is just talking over some of the backlog and what are we going to be doing coming up? So obviously as some of you know I will be celebrating one year on YouTube coming up here in about a week or so. Um, as part of as part of that celebration I have decided to give away something that was given to me. Well, I shouldn't say this exactly was given to me. This was actually purchased uh, by myself. But this is an Elgato Game Capture HD. So now some of you know this is what I've been using to capture a lot of my gameplay footage, doing um, streams and everything in the future. But when I got this new PC put together and everything, I was gifted uh, a very nice Elgato uh, so when I say Elgato like that, it, it makes me think of on uh, the Rundown movie when they're talking about the, the little golden cat statue. But this, uh, I had a very nice Elgato uh, HD Pro uh, internal gifted to me that we installed in my new one. So I have no need for this. Now instead of trying, these still go for about 60 bucks used. So instead of trying to sell that and pass it on, you know, and get the money for it, I've decided that... I want to pass it on to one of my, you know, friends that enjoys the channel and stuff like that. So we'll be doing a giveaway for this Elgato. And I will come with the power cord. I will actually throw in an HDMI cord too with it. So it will come ready to go. Um, you just got to be ready to use it. And then once you use it, let me know so I can watch your guys' stuff too with it. Um, so we'll clean this up. We'll get that set up. I might even do a video sometime about how to actually hook one of these Betsy's up because it's kind of they're kind of difficult. You got an HDMI in, you got all these different ports, and you have to have it plugged in, and yada 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 yada. But stay tuned for that coming up, guys. I'm gonna start filming sometime this weekend. I'm gonna start working on the video, and hopefully we can get the contest started my first full year uh, when, when we hit the anniversary. So besides this that I'll be working on while in quarantine I have another little special project this right here is a Nintendo ashtray I say ashtray because this is the addition that was left in a family member's house that smokes heavily I, I don't think it was actually in their house I think it was their friend's house but as of right now this little this original piece of gaming history is stuck in its own little quarantine. I have it in a bag right now with fabric softener sheets because it smells so dang bad. It was, my hands still stink from it and I washed it. So I had my sister-in-law, her friend, gave it to her and told them to see if anybody else knows how to fix these things. And of course I've done stuff for the past, fixing um, a Nintendo for them and a 64 and stuff like that. So, um, 
obviously that was the first one that came to mind. So I gotta get this thing de de smellalized because it stinks so bad. And then I'm going to be opening and cleaning that. So I will be working on a video for that coming up. Um, because I know a lot of people actually have never really seen how easy it is to work on a Nintendo. Um, I'm still up in the fence about whether or not I'm buying a 72 pin to put in it or not. It really depends on if they plan on paying me, period, anyways. Uh, a lot of times with all my, when I do work for people, if they got retro games laying around, I tell them I'll, I'll work on their stuff. All you gotta do is just give me some games, basically. Oh, hey, hey man, you got any of those games? But a lot of times, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. So that's gonna be no one. I just gotta double check my finger. But, there we got that. There we got that, guys. There we got that. Otherwise, game-wise, uh, I'm obviously messing around on the PC a lot. Now, this is, uh, this is my first real powerful computer ever. I went from six gigabytes of RAM to 16. This thing is insane. I'm, it's unbelievable. I mean, I've never been able to stream and record at the same time. All while doing webcam, it's, it's so awesome, guys. I can't believe it. Um, once again, another shout out to Sturgill Spare Parts on Instagram. You guys can go back and check out that video when we do the unboxing and stuff like that. Dude, straight up spent like five hours with me that night unboxing this case, installing and putting this thing together. Um, he gifted me that Elgato that we installed in it and just great all-around guy you know we've been really good friends for several years now we worked at two different places together um, and he's just a great guy and I'm so happy that you know we were able to get this together uh, and yeah this is yeah I'm very appreciative and I you know this is just great I I've, I've been messing around with some ROM hacks I know you guys might have checked out the stream the other day about with uh, we played uh, Street to Rage 2 with the turtles, Ninja Turtles on it, so that was awesome. I've been messing around with that. I'm hoping to do, I might be doing a series come up, uh, trying to come up with some kind of clever name for it, but we're gonna do some ROM hacks. Um, I know they have an actual spiritual, uh, spiritual successor to Super Mario uh, World on Nintendo, not Super Mario World 2 per se with the Yoshi's Island, but an actual like, Return to Dinosaur Island that I've been really looking forward to trying to play. Um, but otherwise, besides those and playing around with that, there is some physical games that I've actually been playing. Um, some of you have been following along with my overrated game challenge that I gave out to some people. Um, and I've been playing Resident Evil 4 on GameCube. Um, which now I somewhat regret that I chose GameCube. Because now I wish I would have went, you know, digital with the PC and been playing it on my new PC because that would have been fun, uh, or with the Wii. But I would, I do like the the original playing it on the original, you know, console that it was for. Um, and I've having been having so much fun with it. Um, I I haven't got enough time to play it. You know, a lot of people have been asking me how to beat it yet and stuff like that. And I'm sorry I have not. I've only got about six hours in. Um, because I can only play a little bit here and there because I still want to work on videos for my channel and I still want to work on some other stuff. So I've been popping in here and there, but so far I'm loving it. I'm, I'm still uh, learning. Everybody's been, you know, giving me awesome tips, what guns to keep, how to actually fight the zombies because, you know, in any other zombie game, you just unload clips on them. They've been teaching me strategies, you know, aim for the knee and then kick and then, yeah, just thank you everybody for that too because this is... I've never been a real big survivor horror fan. I know a lot of people said that this was the game that really changed that genre, especially especially the Resident Evil genre. Went from straight up, you know, survival horror to actually more shooting and stuff like that. So, game's been awesome. Uh, so another shout out to Sturgill Spare Parts because I told uh, I've been having a hankering lately for playing to play Pokemon uh, Snap. So when I was a kid, this was a go-to rental a lot of times. Um, I was a huge Pokemon fan. Um, I was still playing Pokemon almost into high school and stuff like this. But when uh, this game came out when I was younger, 
we were playing Pokemon Stadium, Pokemon Snap, um, Pokemon on Game Boy and stuff like this. Well, this one, I never really got very far in it because I'd rent it and I'd only be able to rent it for a day or two. So then I'd have to come back to playing it. And most of the times, you know, my saves would be gone and stuff like that because I rent it. So now I've actually been taking the time to sit down and enjoy it and I love this game. Um, I really wish they would uh, do something just re, you know kind of doing a newer one of that but you know they got so much going on with Pokemon nowadays it's kind of hard to do that. I do like how they I want to get Pokemon uh, Sword or Shield down the road. I know it seems like it's going to drop off in price for that pretty soon. I mean that game has actually been dropping in value pretty well. I haven't seen it going for you know, low 40s, 30s, and stuff like that on Macari, so that might be that might be a choice coming up too. So besides that, I didn't bring it down here, but I have one of them. I've been playing Breath of the Wild. Now I'm not very far into it yet. I I do have I think one heart away from being able to go get the Master Sword. Um, I have taken down one Divine Beast, um, the Water one. And I've also been just kind of exploring. Now I have the same with Resident Evil 4. I haven't been able to put as much time in. I actually haven't touched this game in about two months now. Because I kind of started playing Luigi's Mansion 3 too. Which was a big mistake because that's a pretty fun game too. So I got all these games that I just kind of... I've been dipping, dipping my toes in, you know, like water. I've just been kind of playing them here and there. Which is sometimes fun because then, you know, you get to play it as you want. Uh... But yeah, the guys, that's what I've been having going on. Um, working on the backlog um, and just stuff like that. So uh, I just want everybody to know, you know, be safe. Uh, I know some of this Corona stuff, virus might be big hype, might be media panic. But if for some reason it's not completely that, stay safe, stay indoors, wash your hands, don't touch your face, you know, everything that they've all been saying. Just play it safe guys I don't want I don't want to hear any of you guys uh, getting sick and being like where's so-and-so why haven't I, they been on for a while or haven't I haven't seen them around I'm gonna find out exactly what happened and uh, this thing can be prevented it can be fought so please 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 take care of yourselves and I hope to hear from you guys more in the future um, as I've said some some people before talking to them on Instagram and stuff like that love hearing from you guys love uh, love your messages love your comments and stuff like that it just makes this it makes it so much more fun to know that people are out there enjoying my passion with me um, I always try if you guys have videos and stuff like that um, drop me a link below or whatever and I will check out your channel and subscribe because that's I love Anything video game related, I might not be able to comment on every video or be able to watch all of the video, but I will at least try and check out a portion of it, give you a thumbs up and comment because, yeah guys, I mean, in the end, we're all here to support each other and have fun with this and show off our passion. Um, go ahead and click like, subscribe, comment, thank you for all that you do. Um, as I've said before, or this this might be my first video that I've actually talked a little bit more about this. I have set up a little merchandise shop. Don't feel obligated to have to buy anything. This is just kind of a fun little thing I'm doing on the side too. Um, pretty basic right now. Just Iowa Retro Gamer Dad shirt with my logo and the sticker and phone cases and stuff like that. So all profits that go from the sales will go to back into this, the channel. It'll be equipment. Uh, games hopefully somewhere down the road I will be able to go to a convention or something it's kind of hard out here in the middle of nowhere in Iowa so that's kind of stuff like that just stuff that's gonna, it's gonna go right back into the channel guys um, just for fun stuff to, to do in the future to make this you know better content I guess I guess you don't need money to make good content it's just on what you do so so yep there'll be a link to the store below I'll uh, link to uh, several different videos if you want to check out those. Uh, and as always, you guys, stay retro. Thanks for watching. And like I said, once again, be safe and have yourself a great day.